What's up everybody? Welcome to week two of our online series, Faith Over Fear. We're so glad that you, well, who could that be? Oh, Pastor Lance! Oh no. Hey, hey, Pastor Lance! I'm so glad I finally found you! I have missed you so much these past couple days and you are my bestest friend ever! What, what, what are you doing here, Nerdo? I'm coming to see you. You're my bestest friend ever. I was just hoping that you would let me hang out with you for a couple days. Um, I thought you were at home the last I checked. <laughs> uh, I was, but I heard you were at the office, so I thought I'd come by to see you. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, aren't you excited? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Well, I was going to tell you a little bit about what we, I thought we could do. We could watch TV. We could watch all my favorite movies ever. And if we that, get... That, that sounds fun, Nerdo, but... I was going to cook for you, too! Really? Yeah, I've got a great beanie weenie recipes. What? Yeah. Beanie weenie yes. recipes. Yes. Oh yes, it is delicious. It's beanie weenies, or you could do like a fried beanie weenie. You could do a grilled beanie weenie. You could do a refried beanie weenie. And a beanie weenie scampi, and a beanie weenie kebab, and a beanie weenie a la mode, and a beanie weenie wrap, and a beanie weenie salad, and a. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. And a smothered, covered, scattered, diced, peppered, beanie weenie. <laughs> Nerdo. Yes? That sounds disgusting. Oh, but it's not, Pastor Lance. It's delicious. Please, 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 will you accept my invitation? Um, I'll think about it. And, and in the meantime, let's check out this game that we have for you. Oh, Nerdo. I'm sorry. <laughs> What is up, kid bag? That is right. We are yeah. back with a boys versus girls Let's game. Let's go, boys! We got the boys team over here. We've got Calvin. Yeah! We have that yeah. We're representing all the boys out there. Right? We also We're going to win! Oh, okay. All right. We That's also right. have the girls over here. <laughs> and we got Mariah representing all the girls out there. All right, so this is how this game's gonna work. Very simple. You'll see that we have a tub of water balloons. One for the girls, one for the boys. What we're gonna do, when we say go, there's gonna be a teammate on this side, there's gonna be a teammate over here on this side. This teammate is gonna have a bowl on the top of their I head. I got a bowl on my head! Yeah, you do. Woo. And their teammate is going to throw water balloons at the bowl and try to get as many in said bowl as they possibly can. I got a can. point! Probably gonna pop though, probably won't stay quite like that. And hopefully Calvin doesn't miss, or hopefully he does, and quite honestly, we'll see. No, we want him to, to make it. We'll see. But whoever has the most water in their bowl at the end, whoever's the fullest, is the winner. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be the boys! Let's go! I am ready to go. And this is the game is not starting yet! Technique is in the wrist, yeah. I think. Looks like you've already been attacked. Yeah, yeah, I have. I wonder who did it. Oh, that hurt my finger. Let's oh, 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 no. The camera guy? Uh, I wonder who did it, Isaac. All right, guys, we are ready. Who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be the boys or the Ooh. girls? Oh, come on. All right, let's count this thing down in three, two, one, go! I'm so good at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see it. Come back over this way. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know what's happening. Oh, my arm. Bailey, what's your strategy here? And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, How do you think you did? Good. Good. Did we pop up? Well, why do I got on Joey count too? Because he's he's soaked. Does that count? I don't think so. I'm no. sorry, Calvin. No. I think we did it. Balls over here. Balls over here. Ow. It's gonna be a close call, guys. Are yeah. oh, you throwing them side by side? It looks like the boys have yeah. won. Ow. <laughs> Congratulations, Woo! boys! Yeah! You are the winner today! We have a nice team. We're gonna win. Woo! Right here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you know, they 
They did a good job. There was water being tossed at them like wave after wave. It kind of reminds me of the Bible story that we're talking about today. You know, all the disciples were in the middle of a boat. See, look at him. Look at him over there. Look at the disciples. We're disciples. Disciples! Yeah. Yeah. They were all out there in their boat in the middle of a storm. Waves were just pelting them. They were just pelting them. Oh, the waves! Just pelting them. In the middle of that storm, they were super scared. And in the middle of all that fear and confusion, Jesus actually came walking on the stormy water out to them. And he said, hey, it's me. Don't be afraid. When Peter saw that it was Jesus on the water, he asked if he could come out too. And Jesus said, come on out. So Peter actually got out of the boat and also walked on top of the stormy water. I'm Peter and I'm walking on the water. This is amazing. Peter was actually walking on the water, but he started to look at all the wind and the waves and the storm, all the scary things. He started to focus on those. And when he did that, he began to sink. Oh, oh, I'm slowly sinking. Immediately, Jesus reached his hand out and saved Peter. And then he asked him, why is your faith so small? Why did you doubt? Then they both got back in the boat and the storm was gone, done, over. So what we need to do is we need to keep our eyes, our focus on Jesus and not the stormy situation. Isn't that right, Peter? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, you, you did a good job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and you won the game. Oh, yeah. Boys win. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> hey, good job, boys. That was awesome. Girls, we're going to get them next time. But anyways, today we are talking about faith over fear. And our first point is fear can come from the unknown. And who knows the unknown better than Elsa? Am I right? So sometimes in life, things can be thrown at us. And if we don't really understand it, it can kind of be scary. Kind of like in Frozen 2. Yes, I'm back on Elsa. Let it go. In Frozen 2, Elsa is in the enchanted forest. And she's talking to this group of people that she just met when all of a sudden, the forest caught on fire. And the trees were on fire, the grass was on fire, and it was this little fireball jumping around and they didn't know what it was. And literally everybody was scared. And here's Elsa and she's like shooting her ice powers at this fire and she doesn't know what to do and she's a little scared. I mean, I would be scared if I was in that forest. But then Elsa started chasing down this fireball, whatever it was, and she cornered it. And when she did, she saw what it really was. It was Bruni, our favorite little salamander, right? He's so cute. Anyways, point is, Elsa realized that this thing that seemed so scary was actually just a little bitty salamander. In life, things can be really scary, but if we trust God and we have faith over fear, we don't have to be scared of it. And we may even realize that it's not as bad as it seems. In Proverbs 3, 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. If you trust in God, you don't have to be afraid and you can have faith over fear. It's 7 p.m. That means it's time to get cozy with my science book. I feel loved. Okay, turn off all these distractions and get prepared for the exam tomorrow. It counts for green percent of my grade. And focus. Study, 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 study. Who the was it? Can I help you? Giant gorilla! <gasps> Do you have any bananas? No. Frozen yogurt? No. I'm gonna look upstairs. No, you can't come in here! You're a giant gorilla! I'm gonna look upstairs. You can't stop a giant gorilla cause a giant gorilla's too big for you. Word! No, stop! You can't go upstairs! I'm trying to study for a science exam! Ding dong, we're here! What are you guys doing at my house? We were all sort of wanting to get together and Doesn't matter! Now how about fixing me a ham sandwich? I'm a vegetarian. I'm no time for lunch meat. Aww, sorry lunch meat. It's okay girls, I understand. I've got a huge problem right now. I've got a giant gorilla upstairs. 
Whoa! T-M-I, girlfriend. Now how's about that ham sandwich? Hashtag, I'm really hungry right now. I'm a vegetarian. No, Christy, and no, Beth, and Margaret. This is a huge problem. I think it's about to get huger. <gasps> hey, little girl. Is this where DJ Monkey Man is throwing his hashtag awesome party tonight? What? No. There's no primate party here. Just a quiet evening of studying for my zoo. You betcha, home pimps. Let's party like it's the 1800s. Party over here. Whoop, whoop. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Sneak away. Avoid the awkward situation. Awkward girl. Hey, where'd they go? Oh, well, where's my ham sandwich? Does no one else see this as a major issue? I have a gorilla party happening upstairs. Calm down, Chrissy. Why are you acting so cray-cray? Hey, I'm the only one who can use hip lingo. Um, guys, I'll see you later. I just got invited to this awesome gorilla party happening upstairs. So, I'm gonna bounce. What? How'd you get an invite, not me? I'm gonna take so many selfies at this party. I love selfies! My life is over. Are you kidding me? I have an upstairs full of partying gorillas, and all I want to do is study for my science exam, because if I don't pass, I'll never get into college, and I'll never have a career, and my life will be ruined! This is a huge, huge problem! Tis true, tis true, huge problem. Relax, Chrissy. Don't you know that God is bigger than any problem you face? Just listen to this, Knight. Verily, God is bigger. Don't focus on the size of your problem. Focus on the size of your God. The Bible says in Romans 8.31, what should we say then? Since God is on our side, who can be against us? God is greater than anything you could face. And he's for us. You're right, Belinda. That's not my name. God is bigger. I'm going to take a moment to ask for his help. Pray, 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 pray. I got an idea. I'll go to the kitchen and come back with a ham sandwich. Yay for me. Hey, do you smell a ham sandwich? I love ham! Yikes! I'm out of here! <laughs> I love ham. How did you know? Everybody knows that gorillas love ham. Uh, no, I, I don't think... Anyways, everything is back to normal. And you were right, Belinda. That's not my name. God is bigger than any problem. Where's Meredith? Where did everybody go? Oh, well. Selfie! And... Isn't it so great that God does not leave us on our own? He doesn't leave us to where we have to figure it out by ourselves. And as Pastor Camille was saying that sometimes things may not always make sense, but God doesn't leave us in that spot. It says in this story where Jesus is coming out and walking onto the water during the storm, it says that he called out to them right away. It says he called out to them and he told them, it is I. There's no reason to be scared. There's no reason to be afraid. It's just me. And so it's amazing that God always reassures us that he's got our backs, that he's watching over us, that he's there for us in these moments. And so your second point is don't let fear control you. It's amazing how when we let fear into our lives, it's gonna be the number one thing we're thinking about. It's gonna be the number one thing that we have on our minds. But the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. When we find ourselves in a space where we are just so scared, we're so fearful, that's what we're thinking about. It's so much easier if you just focus your thought on Jesus. When you look to him and say, God, I can't do this. I need your help. I need you to show yourself to me. And he will walk out on the water to your situation. He will walk out on the water to your home right there on your couch. He will walk out to you and he will show you that he's got you. He will tell you that he's there for you. And it's amazing how much he cares for you and how much he loves you. And so when we're going into these weeks when we're staying at home where we might think, well, what if I, what if I never go to school again? What if I can't go outside anymore? But you know what? Since we know that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind, we know that those thoughts are not from Him. They are from the enemy to come and take us away from the joy that He has given us. So let's focus on making sure that we keep Him at the front of our mind and that we keep Him in focus with our lives today. Right away, Jesus called out to them, Be brave, it is I. Don't be afraid. 
Matthew 14, 27. You know, Kid Pack, as we are focusing our faith over fear, it is very important hey, that- I wanted to find you and show you all about my new hobby I picked up. Hang on, look at this. And that's a good one. And look at there, look at you. No, no, th this is out of focus. No, it's not, it's great. I actually did that on purpose because it covers up all your mini facial flaws. <laughs> look, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let me, let me, let me show you. This is mine. I'm just trying this, to show you something, this, Nerdo. This, Nerdo, give me the camera. Nerdo, can, can you go stand over there, please? I got a car. Ah, yeah. Okay. All right, a real photographer would know this. When you're taking a picture, focus is very important because what you focus on is what you see. Everything else around it becomes blurry and your focus is the main thing that you see. And um, by the way, let me show you something. I, I have an example right here that I wanna show you. Let's take this battery right here. Let's say that this battery represents fear. When you focus on fear, that is all that you see in the picture. There's a great big picture, but this battery is all you see. But when we focus on faith, the whole picture becomes clear. And actually, the fear that we were so focused on becomes so small, it really disappears. It's so much easier if you just focus your thought on Jesus. Then we see something beautiful, something amazing something greater than what we were normally focusing on. You're so sweet, Pastor Lance. Thank you for letting me be a part of that great, great message. It made total sense about focusing on the right thing. With you being the right thing to focus on. That's yeah. exactly right. I thought it well, was fantastic. Thank you. Guys, it, it is important to remember that fear is such a small, insignificant thing when we focus on faith. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you were here to share in that, Nerdo. <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, is it about time to, uh, you know, end this and go eat some beanie weenies? Oh, I, I guess so. We do have a, a message coming up, another point, so uh, I okay, guess we should leave. I'm going to go get the beanie weenies fired up. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Hey, Kid Pack. You know what's funny is that life never is guaranteed to not have storms but we are guaranteed that God is gonna be there with us through the storm. And what's amazing about this story in the book of Matthew is that Jesus knows the disciples are gonna go through a storm, but what does he do? Like a good God always does, he meets them right in the middle of the storm. He actually calls Peter onto the waters, which is remarkable. I know I would be fearing for my life, but Peter in faith, walks out on the waters, but what does he do like mu much of us do? He starts to look at his outward circumstances. And that takes us into our third point where fear ends, faith begins. And what I want to talk to you guys for a second about is that Peter started to look all around him at his outward circumstances instead of keeping his eyes focused on Jesus. He lost hope and lost faith because of what he was looking at. And Kid Pack, I know there's a lot of crazy things going on right now, but I want you to focus on Jesus during this time because faith is where fear ends. And that takes us into our last point. Faith can always win. And what's great about faith is that it says in God's word in Ephesians chapter 10 is that God's, God's word says that faith is like a shield. It's like a shield that protects us from the flaming arrows of the enemy. And I was thinking about who uses a shield that these kids would know about. And I thought about my favorite superhero, Captain America. One of the most, the most famous things about Captain America is that he has a shield that protects him from all the attacks of any enemy that comes against him. And I just think about the shield of faith that God's word tells us to use. Because God's word says that faith is what protects us from the attacks of the enemy. So faith means this, belief in action. What can we do in action, kids? We can read God's word. I am not given a spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind, just like Pastor Joe said. I can use prayer as to, to, to fight and defend myself against the attacks of the enemy. And you know what I can also do, guys? I can worship during this time because your worship has power. So remember, guys, where fear ends, faith begins, and then also faith 
can always win. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this time, for an amazing Kid Pack service to be able to come together with our families and learn about how faith can always win and how we can always find calm in the storm if we keep our eyes fixated on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much, Kid Pack, for joining us this week for KP Online. This was an amazing message. I hope you got something from it, finding calm in the storm. We love you. We can't wait to see you next week. But also, I wanted to tell you guys about something amazing. We had our KP Home Chapel Challenge. So you know what that means, guys. We have a brand new challenge for you. This week, we have the hashtag KP Game Time. And it's gonna be an amazing time with your family. So we want you to share on social media time where you are spending with your family playing board games. So I'm gonna be getting out Monopoly, playing that for like five hours straight and posting on social media. And we wanna see you guys posting how much fun you're having with your board games and family time. We love you and we thank you so much for joining us this week with KP Online Faith Over Fear.